now from our studio in Louisville, Kentucky, it's the Colonel Harlan Sanders Show! On tonight's show, thermodynamic pressure frying, multi-purpose gizmo alphabetics, corporate management strategy business, and count fresh chicken legs from U.S. farms in space. And now, here's me, Colonel Harlan Sanders. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Today, we're going to learn how to make fried chicken the Colonel Sanders way. The hard way. I always use fresh whole chickens from farms right here in the U.S. of A. These birds are 100% real birds, folks. Step one. Now, firstly, I'll freshly prepare this here bread with flour, salt, milk, and egg wash. And don't forget your 11 secret herbs and spices, Colonel. Step two. Now twist and fold the dry ingredients 20 times and sift the mixture. <laughs> Step three, expect it for quality. Is that high quality, folks? Yes! Yes, folks, this is 100% real chicken, and it does appear to be high quality. Step four, take your chicken and dip it in cold water for seven seconds so the bread will stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! seven. Step five. Now let that chicken drip dry for another seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Step six. Now dump that chicken into the breading, lifting it and folding in the seasoning seven times. <laughs> Step seven. seven. Now scoop that chicken into a basket, shake off the excess breading with a seesaw motion. <laughs> Step eight. Now rack that chicken, folks. Put it together like a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. And now we put it in the pressure fryer for 17 minutes. Step nine. And now we wait. Seven plus seven is 14 minus seven is seven delicious science. A. A. A is for absolutely no hormones or steroids added in our chicken. B. B. B is for bucket of chicken. C. C. C is for chicken. D. D. D is for dag nabbit, I'm eating some chicken. E. E. An evening of eating freshly prepared chicken. F. F. Fried chicken. G. G. Gravy. H. H is for Harland Sanders. I. I. I do love chicken. J. J. Jeepers. Is it dinner time? K. K. K is for Kentucky. <laughs> Philip, 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 Philip. Howdy, folks. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of working alongside the finest collection of business persons you ever did meet. And together, we have made the world's best fried chicken. We dedicated ourselves to serving freshly prepared chicken to everyone from Kentucky to Tokyo. But I will tell you that our collective good fortune didn't happen by accident. It happened by the way of my own personal business philosophy, the hard way. Now, I borrowed these principles from different styles of management that I had picked up from my many jobs and stirred them together like gravy to create a far superior style of business management. Have a look at this here two-sided business pyramid. <laughs> business pyramid. Here's what we got at the top. Colonel Sanders, fresh whole chickens from U.S. farms, custom cooking process, world development, finger licking good. Colonel Sanders, Finger licking good, world development, custom cooking process, and fresh whole chickens from U.S. farms, and me, Colonel Sanders. In my strategic management model, I determine objectives and how the rest of the business will work toward accomplishing those objectives. As you can clearly see here, folks, with a strong leader like myself, Colonel Sanders at the top, the bottom, and in the middle, I give Kentucky Fried Chicken a drive it might not otherwise have. You see here, folks, 
It isn't the easy way that gets you ahead in life. No cutting corners or stealing or dodging chores. It's freshly prepared chicken for all. Now go on and do it the hard way. What? Dag nabbit! Howdy, folks. Do you like space? Yes! Do you like eating $20 Phillips in space? Yes! Do you like eating $5 Phillips in space? Yes! Do you like freshly prepared chicken legs from fresh whole chickens from U.S. Farms? Yes! Okay. Let's count the freshly prepared chicken legs from U.S. Farms. In space! Yes! Ready? One, two, three, go! Yay! One! One chicken leg. Two! Two chicken legs. That's not a chicken leg. Three chicken legs. Yay! Three! Four! Four chicken legs. Five! Five chicken legs. Six! Six chicken legs. Seven! Seven chicken legs. Eight, Eight. chicken legs. Eight. Nine chicken legs. Come on, keep up. Ten chicken legs. Eleven chicken legs. Eleven chicken legs made with no artificial hormones and steroids. Well, let's look. Yeah. All right, folks, now let's eat. It's finger licking good. <laughs> okay, folks, repeat after me. <clears throat> it is comparatively easy to prosper by trickery, the violation of confidence, oppression of the weak, sharp practices, cutting corners, all of those methods that we are so prone to palliate and condone as business shrewdness. It is difficult to prosper by the keeping of promises, the deliverance of value in goods, in services and in deeds, and in the meeting of so-called shrewdness with sound merit and good ethics. The easy way is efficacious and speedy. The hard way, arduous and long. But as the clock ticks, the easy way becomes harder and the hard way becomes easier. And as the calendar records the years, it becomes increasingly evident that the easy way rests hazardously upon shifting sands, whereas the hard way builds a solid foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. Thus, we build it. <laughs>